thinking about selling your rental, let me give you some tips from my experience on owning rental property and selling them, okay? I'm Thatch Wynn, founder of Thatch Real Estate Group. So, if you own a single family home and it's a rental and you're thinking about selling it, here's some tip for you, okay? One, if the tenant is living in the house and it's clean and neat and organized and most importantly, cooperative on showing the property, then I say it's good to leave them in there and actually sell the property while they're in there. Okay, if the tenant isn't cooperative, if they are very messy and the house needs some serious work, then it's more of an advantage than a disadvantage to actually give them notice so they can leave. After they leave, put a little bit of money in and then clean it all up and then put it up for sale for top dollar. So here's an example, a friend of mine named Ann who lived out of the country and she has a house that, you know, I went and took a look at it. And after I looked at it, you know, the renter lives semi-neat. But the house just looked like it's tired. And so there was a balance on should I leave them in there and sell it? Or was it better to actually get them out and put a little bit of money in it and make it look nicer so we can get more money for it? Especially right now, it's a seller's market. So in that decision, I told Ann we should go ahead and move the tenant out. Put a little bit of money, spruce it up, you know, maybe make it a little bit nicer, spend a little bit of money in it. But I think it's going to go a long way in this market right now since it's a seller's market. So that's my tip on selling a single family uh, investment property. For an apartment building, I do another video on another day, okay? So if you like this video, comment below it, uh, like it for us, and then share it with your friend for us, all right? Have a great day. Remember, always dream big and serve unconditionally.